Hello, hello everyone. Happy solstice, happy great conjunction. I am sending just infinite blessings out to you all for this really potent, powerful day. Hello, hi Jen. Hey, hello, Healing Hearts, how are you? Hey, <laughs> hey everyone, yay, Twilight Blue. Just sending infinite love out into the ethers, out into the astral for this really potent and powerful day. I just finished up a reading and I felt really called to connect with you all. Um, I'd love to channel some astrology for today, really moving into this next big cycle. This is a big moment today with this great conjunction aligning perfectly with the solstice. Ooh, so beautiful. So I felt called to share some, oops, seeing all those little hearts, Ricky Womb, Dan, hello. So I felt called to share some um, codes that are coming through, that want to come through from my higher self, channeling the energy of this potent time. I also have two little announcements that I want to share. My holiday reading sale, still active. It's still live on my website. You can click the link in my bio to take advantage of $50 off all 90 minute sessions. So that's going to be going on for like the next few days. I felt called to keep that open for you all. And then also announcing the launch of my brand new masterclass, Beyond the Planets 2, Decoding Her Story. Um, this is the next evolution in the Beyond the Planet series. So this is brand new material, uh, something I really put my heart and soul into sharing with all of you, I feel that this year I have really stepped up and stepped into my leadership as a teacher, as a healer, as an activator and an awakener. Um, I've just leveled it up and I feel like I've really shown up and I feel really in alignment with the mission, which is so beautiful. And this Beyond the Planets Masterclass is really such a beautiful part of it. So it is open to all levels. If you're new on your path or if even if you're advanced, there's going to be a lot of really potent codes in this course. It's going to be eight weeks live channeled astrology. It is actually blending astrology with live channeling, divine feminine wisdom, ancient teachings, ancient mysticism. Um, into this beautiful eight-week virtual course, and I'm diving deep into the Divine Feminine Mysteries. This is a Divine Feminine mystery school that this course is really an answered prayer. It came through as a vision and a dream and something I feel just super grateful and blessed and excited to be able to share with all of you. So a couple things that I wanted to just kind of touch on. So this is brand new material from the first Beyond the Planets. You don't have to hold the little hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't have to have, to have taken the first Beyond the Planets, but if you did, this is new expanded information. So this is really like the next level, taking Beyond the Planets to the next ascended level which is so perfect for this energy right now. We're going to go into new asteroids, new fixed stars, diving deep into divine feminine mysteries, the divine feminine wisdom teachings, sacred symbolism of the goddess, how to channel the Akashic records through an astrology chart, locating the lost lands of ancient Lemuria, Atlantis, um, Avalon, how to locate that information that light, that wisdom in a natal chart. We're gonna go into more star seed inner goddess and angelic markings and just so much more. So if you feel called to join us, it's gonna be starting on the new moon in Capricorn. Everything is recorded for you. So if you can't catch the lives, 
you can catch the replays and I have a little discount code. It is AWAKEN, all in caps, 2021, so that you can get $50 off of that one too. And that one's gonna be good until the 31st. So those are my two announcements. But now let's just go into the energy for this solstice. It is, I don't know about you, but I am feeling an incredibly potent shift of energy like really since the sun has been moving through the galactic center right now the sun is at zero degrees of capricorn as it is the solstice but whew, these past few days like over the weekend right around friday it was like thursday friday saturday when the sun was moving through the galactic center what a powerful activation like I'm a little biased because my Neptune and my Lilith are in the galactic center and I felt like all crown chakra, like I was receiving a lot of really potent, potent, I was just my channel, my channel felt really just crystal clear and in alignment. I actually shared a live and I was going in. I was just like, that dragon energy was just like coming out of me in like the best way. And then my battery died, my phone battery died. So I didn't get to share it, but there were a lot of people that were able to actually catch the live. Annie, <laughs> hello, good to see you. But yeah, what a powerful, potent day let's talk a little bit about the astrology so i'm gonna pull up the chart of the astrology and let's talk about it like whoo this is the beginning of a brand new cycle so the first thing that i am seeing with this astrology is we have a lot of zero point energy happening right now so the sun at zero degrees of capricorn mercury just came through that portal mercury's at one degrees of cap we of course have this great conjunction of saturn and jupiter at zero degrees of aquarius the last time that this great conjunction happened was in the year 2000 this happens every 20 years but that one was at the end of may i believe it was may 31st when it happened in the year of 2000 and that was in earth that was in the sign of taurus so this great conjunction <laughs> happening at zero degrees of aquarius is igniting a whole new cycle where these conjunctions are now going to be in the sign of air and this is huge number one having it at zero degrees of aquarius having the sun at zero degrees aquarius the moon at this moment right now as i'm talking it's about like almost 2 p.m on the in, uh, Pacific time, the moon is at 29 degrees of Pisces. So even the moon is about to move and cross over that zero degree point. That is so potent. Also Juno at one degree. So Juno was just at that zero degree point not too long ago. This is really a critical degree. Zero degree in any chart or when any planetary energy or any luminary, any asteroid is moving across this point. This is like a womb. This is zero um, in astronumerology is connected to Pluto and the energy of Scorpio. So this is that alchemy of just transformation going down to the deepest, darkest depths. It's almost like this, this void. We've entered this void of no time, no space. This energy is quantum. And I don't know about you all, but I am really feeling this right now um this great conjunction just happens to be perfectly aligning with my sun and my mars so like yeah i'm feeling this shift it feels like a really beautiful shift in a light bright angelic 
energy, right? Like in a new direction, a new perspective. Saturn rules time. It rules like linear time. And it's like this weighted energy. It's this rooted energy. It rules. It's like discipline and operating with integrity to build a legacy, to build something real and tangible. And where Saturn kind of contracts Jupiter expands. Jupiter really is about infinite possibilities and bringing this energy in through this portal because the zero point is really this great womb. It is opening up this new timeline, new timelines and new possibilities of expanded consciousness, tapping into our wisdom, our inner knowing, our gnosis, like never before. So this is a really powerful portal. I feel that the ancient Mayans really prophesied this time. So this is a moment of prophecy. If you were to take into consideration just the different shifts of the Gregorian calendar, 2012, 20, the 21st of December, 2012, which was the end of the Mayan calendar, that is actually really now. That is happening in 2020. So this time that we have all chosen to incarnate at this moment as star seeds, as light workers, as light leaders, as dreamers, as cosmic visionaries, as healers, right? As these rebel hearts, these renegades of light, like we, we've chosen to incarnate now in order to share our gifts, shine our light, emanate the vibration of inspiration. That is Aquarius. This is the new age. This is how we can create it. It's by envisioning it, believing in it, being it, emanating it, taking responsibility for ourselves, as leaders and activators and awakeners in this new age. That's really what I am channeling this blessed opportunity. Now, we have a holy opportunity to expand into our greatness, to embody our highest self, to align with our highest timeline. And it's in believing it and being it and seeing it and taking this opportunity, this time and space to really envision what that looks like for you. What does that feel like for you? Who are you when you embody your highest self? How do you treat other people? How do you show up for yourself? How do you show up for the mission and expand into your greatness and expand into your gifts. How do you be that with every just like beautiful part of yourself? How do you show up more in alignment, emanating health, wealth, well-being, your, your knowledge, your wisdom, your gifts, really owning it, owning your value for who you are? That was a huge download that I got about how important it is now in this moment. It's always important, but now more than ever in order to really anchor in this frequency, these higher elevated frequencies, this ascension, right? Because this is a stargate that we have entered into with this great conjunction. I'm really channeling it as a great revelation. This is a great revelation and a channel into infinite possibilities to align with our highest timeline, our highest expression, our highest embodiment of our higher selves, of our highest selves. This is so powerful. And I love, I love being able to collaborate with this celestial energy as like the the friends and allies that that it really is right anytime 
that we hold space for ourselves and we set intention and we're in alignment and we call in what we want and we're consciously creating what we want and we're magnetizing it and we're ready to receive it anytime that we do this it's a clear gateway to that but to be able to hold space during these blessed alignments this is known as the christmas star which is bringing in christ consciousness this time is holy it's a holy alignment and it's bringing in so much light so much love so much harmony and we can all activate ourselves and intentionally channel our own energy in alignment with what it is that we want to create who we want to be how we want to embody this and we're collectively doing this the magic is amplified exponentially in such a powerful potent way we are really just activating this grid this unified grid of support of love of peace of harmony of unity we're we're accessing community by coming in during these times with one another in our own way showing up in our own way we're amplifying it we're activating it we're expanding it we're emanating in this energy and it's so powerful so powerful and so potent something that has been coming through um remember your power remember who you are and your power we are divine cosmic beings we are infinite with like infinite capabilities infinite potentials of expanding into our gifts into our expression into our greatness I am holy, I am healthy, I am happy, I am whole. Those were all affirmations that have been coming through to me. So right now, especially with the shift um into air because air is the frequency of the fifth element. So ether, spirit, source, spirit molecule, it's the energy of God, right? And as we shift into this portal it's a stargate really and align with this frequency of air especially the frequency of aquarius because aquarius is um quantum right it is multi-dimensional having access to this it's access to the akashic and timelines and this element of air when we think about air air is light it's information, it's wisdom, it's expression. Knowledge is power and empowerment and we have this ability to harness this great shift because the great conjunction really is a great shift setting off this rebirth through the heart womb of this zero degree portal right now. We have an opportunity to rebirth ourselves to alchemize be an alchemist tran to transform transmute transcend yourself shedding any layers that are no longer serving you right anything like just letting it go breaking free liberating it aquarius energy is the great awakener the great activator the great liberator right we have this opportunity right now to literally shake ourselves free of any suppression anything that has been holding us down any way even that we have been holding ourselves back through self-sabotage through diminishing ourselves through not believing in ourselves through not trusting ourselves we have this beautiful potent opportunity to rebirth and resurrect ourselves to light 
to transmute ourselves to light, to rebirth ourselves, to regenerate. That is the frequency of Aquarius. Regenerate, ever expanding, ever growing. It's like Time for our wings, right? Literally expanding our wings, expanding our heart into the greatness, our greatness of who we are, why we came here. The world needs us. The world needs you. The world needs your gifts. The world needs your light. The world needs you to embody your gifts to express yourself to shine your light in your biggest boldest brightest way now as we rebuild this new earth and we step into this new vibration this portal as we move into aquarius is the energy of ascension right now it is limitless. I will, okay, rewind for a moment. We are limitless. We are infinite. This body, this body temple is beautiful. But our souls, when we tap into the knowing of how infinite and expansive our souls are on this beautiful journey, how we are divine beings, we are sacred beings, we are holy beings, bringing in the vibration of Christ consciousness to help us remember who we are during this time when it is a mass celebration of Christ consciousness of the Christ itself, the anointed self. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. And tapping into this deep remembrance of who we are and how we can really show up to embrace our gifts and activate and uplift one another is so important right now because Aquarius is about community, but it's like come back into unity. And there is a divine feminine frequency that is integral in these shifts. There is a divine feminine frequency to be resurrected reclaimed, remembered, moving forward. And I've really, and, and it's been happening and there's been this huge resurgence and reclamation of it. There's been a resurrection of it, but in order for us and all of humanity to really come back into our hearts, to come back home to our hearts and into the remembrance of our divine, sacred, holy nature. We have to remember this aspect of ourselves and this aspect of consciousness, which is bringing the feminine back into harmony with the masculine, coming back into fullness, into wholeness, into holy sacred union. And so through ceremony and through my visions and my meditations, I've really seen that the divine feminine principle of God is really being remembered and reignited in the collective. Right now with this great conjunction, which I am I call this great revelation, this revelation of who we are, our true divine nature, this revelation of infinite possibilities that nothing is fated and set in stone, especially if it does not resonate for you. This is a sacred time to really define what is your truth. And how can you anchor that back? How can you anchor that in? 
What is your highest truth? How can you align with that truth and really anchor it in? How can you be it? How can you express it? How can you say it? Because any frequency, any circumstance, any narrative that does not feel in alignment and doesn't feel right and true to you, it's not your reality. Let it go, right? Let it go. Let it flow. Let it just fall away. To align with our truth and to really anchor this in is so important now because this, and so I'm seeing like just a sword of truth, this is how we can really just cut away by anchoring in our truth, cut away anything that may be a perceived obstacle to your greatness and to your expansion because there's a lot of propaganda and paradigms and narratives that are trying to hold us in a negative fear-based paradigm and it's time to transmute all of that. And if that is not your truth, you don't have to carry it anymore. That's not yours to carry. Let it go. Let it flow. It's time to align with our truth. It's time to align with our calling. Align and remember that expansive energy, the infinitely loving intelligence that is within us, within our heart, within our cells, within our soul, within all of our being. That So fear, and that has been a major distraction this year as we've been doing just great shadow work. Um, I'm gonna turn my computer on really quick because it's shut off with the chart. We have been doing so much shadow work this year in 2020, really going to the depths of our truth and healing, healing so much, which the healing journey is the brave, bold way. It really is. We have been harnessing so much courage. You have been doing so good. It's time to take those victories of how brave we've really been, how courageous we've really been, how much we've expanded, how much healing that we've really stepped into this year. It's time we take these victories and we celebrate ourselves and we celebrate one another so that we can uplift one another, so we can help one another remember the mission, why we are, who we here, and how powerful we really are. Because that is something that was a huge shift of consciousness for me in my personal path was remembering and reclaiming my sovereignty from any timeline, any paradigm, any narrative that was not in alignment with my highest self, with my truth, with who I know I am in my core, with how healthy, wealthy, happy, abundant, prosperous, loving, compassionate, right? Like all of these high vibrational energies, how true and real and loving and beautiful and magical I am, you are, we all are. Anything that is not on that level, bye. (laughs) Time to just like ascend, right? Like to the next shift, to the next vibration, to the next frequency. Send in it love, but now is a time (laughs) for <laughs> and it's so beautiful okay I, uh, I wish you could see this right 
to my what I don't even know my left from right okay so there's a hummingbird to my right and there's a beautiful dove right at the roof right at the rooftop oh gosh I wanted to like kind of show you I don't know if y'all can see that but there's like this beautiful little dove that is sitting up there just on this rooftop like a and there's been a story about doves for since I moved to this space about mm, like a, I guess about what like a year and a half ago now these doves have been building this nest right above my doorway and what are doves doves are a beautiful reminder they hold the frequency of peace and love and Christ consciousness and unity and hope and faith they hold these frequencies. They're like these beautiful reminders, these embodiments. They're holy. They're sacred. And this is so beautiful now as this dove is just like, <laughs> like watching over us. And uh, miracles are everywhere. Infinitely, we are the miracles. We are the miracles. We are living, breathing miracles of infinite possibility. And aligning with that, it is so, like that's how we can remember and tap into who we really are and the true power, the true wisdom, the true frequency. We are holy warriors. We are angels on earth here to uplift and support and align and harmonize and love and unify and be these frequencies of compassion and peace and love, right? It's in being it. It's in being it and embodying the inspiration as light leaders, as visionaries, as healers, as teachers, as wisdom keepers, as artists. Share your art, share your gifts, share your wisdom, your knowledge, your song in your biggest, brightest, boldest way because it is so needed right now. And it is in being the frequency of inspiration is how we can really make these changes, how we can support one another, and how we can support ourselves moving through these transformational times. It is a blessing to be alive right now. It is a blessing to be able to see this and align with this infinite possibility in this like new cycle, this rebirth of this new earth of miracles, miracles. It is a blessing remembering that, that we chose to incarnate now. And we didn't choose to incarnate to sit on the sidelines and just kind of hang out and check out right? We chose to be here now as light warriors and leaders to share our gifts and shine our light and show up. It's time to show up so we can help one another break free from all that bullshit right? That has been a distraction to the mission that isn't even real. To break free from the illusion that it's not real, right? Speaking, bringing it back to astrology right now with the North Node in Gemini, aligning with our truth, anchoring that in using your intuition to feel and to question question now so we can align with it and and really harness that this is um, a big throat chakra activation for us really stepping into our truth and clearing so much karma 
any blocks and obstacles to us aligning with our truth and sharing our gifts and expressing ourselves. Highly activated time for awakening and ascension and aligning with this energy in a whole new way like it's i'm just seeing a whole new shift it's literally like this beautiful breath this burst a burst of wind just supporting us in our expanding our wings so we can fly so we can rise so we can like this it's that phoenix energy a burst of beautiful wind just like supporting us in this infinite journey so we can rise lean in feel safe and 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 free to lean into it because we have divine support in these shifts your highest self your higher self your divine team always god divine mother father god infinitely supporting us we are never alone we are infinitely supported and guided the moment we shift our perspective to that knowing, this infinite knowing of our sacred, holy, divine, true divine nature, everything conspires in your favor. It's literally that shift. It's like that, it's, it's a choice in a way to say to yourself, I'm going to, it's, and it's beyond believing. It's beyond believing in it. Believing in yourself, yes, is a part of the, the equation, but this, this time is, is about knowing it, feeling it with every cell of your being and aligning with it. Because beliefs are powerful, but they're a placeholder to knowing. And now it's time to know and it's time to practice it and it's time to, you know, yes, set that intention and ignite it, but support yourself infinitely knowing you are infinitely supported in aligning in, into this energy because we're all here right now and we're all supporting one another and we're not alone in this mission and that is so, 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 so beautiful. Oh, Sammy. Hello, hello. I see all you. Yay. Yeah, I'm really feeling this is beautiful. So also I want to share because this has been like really potent. And, you know, now no matter during the holiday season, right, And there, there's been it's been a little difficult because there's lots of rules and regulations and you got to kind of jump through all these loops to sometimes even see our families at this time and holiday time is when we really want to connect with our family and our roots and our lineage and we want to be able to come back home to that and there's a lot of different things that are trying to you know separate us from that and i think it's important now especially as we move into this aquarian shift i'm calling this an aquarian shift that you know, coming back to unity, community is integral to finding the harmony and balance and this infinite level of support to really help us move through these great shifts. And even if you cannot be physically in the presence of your community, there's still many, many, many ways that we can lock it in and that we can reach out and support and uplift and nourish one another. It's like looking, it's, it's um, beyond the traditional ways of connecting, but community is important. A reconciliation of community is important moving forward, especially in this shift in 2021, because there's a lot of <clears throat> paradigms out there trying to make us afraid of one another. I was on a hike yesterday. And that is one of the ways um, that I can really feel like it just nourishment. Nourishment for me 
and you know when I feel really connected to the soul of all life of all things is going out in nature and immersing myself in nature and I love going on hikes and I love going on like really intense hikes where I can get like a good workout in and my little inner warrior Venus and Aries is activated and I'm like bringing on that like Amazon energy right so I'm like on this hike and I'm like working out and I'm running up these hills and I'm just like moving but also taking moments to be really present and like breathing heavy and the it's my lungs are feeling activated and I'm feeling really good when I'm like my you know my body is moving and there were a lot of people out on the hike and it was beautiful to see people out on the trail and you know they had their kind of little groups and it was really beautiful to see that that people are starting to come together again and do things that make them feel good and being outside in nature and in the sun and breathing in fresh air into our lungs while out in nature like that is that's one of the most healing things you can do for yourself right uplifting your vibration and feeling good and breathing in the fresh air and it was beautiful to see people outside and building this sense of community and you know kind of doing things in our own way um really really beautiful with that so finding these ways to go like color outside the lines right and and be a little rebel in your own way and kind of figure out uh, different ha having opportunities to tap in to tune in to do what makes you feel good if a rule or regulation doesn't feel good to you it doesn't feel like a resonant frequency that doesn't have to be your reality right it's time to align with our truth with what we know at our core in our hearts is the best things the bright the best opportunities to really support ourselves in, through this time right not just now but just beyond it it's like do what feels good for your soul rise up in ways that feel good to your soul and coming back to unity knowing that no matter what rule regulation weird little mandate kind of thing they try to put on us dodging it right it's like find these opportunities these sacred opportunities to bring it back into our heart because that i feel is really the divine feminine way this is a remembering the divine feminine bringing back the divine feminine principle of god remembering the great mother god the great mother womb especially with all these zero degree portals that we have going on in the astrology right now zero degrees is the great womb it's the holy mother frequency it's the heart womb of all creation we have all these planetary and, and luminaries aligning with this shining light on this bringing back this frequency of god the divine feminine side of god to be remembered and resurrected is in integral it's just integral moving forward because she's been forgotten and she's been suppressed and she's been written out and buried and burned for thousands of years and it is time to remember and awaken that within us but within our consciousness too and i really feel that that frequency remembering the holy mother the great mother mother god coming into union because she's always been there but remembering her light her infinitely loving intelligence is how we can really heal we can heal uh, thousands of years of oppression how we can heal ourselves and how we can all really come back into our heart and that is where we are heading i feel it i know it with every part of my being that we are heading in that direction of remembering her divine mother god right coming into full holy sacred union with father god all of this i think is 
how we can anchor in divine feminine Christ consciousness as the harmonized frequency, the missing part of the equation. And yes, Sammy, nature is Mother Earth. Nature is feminine. Absolutely. Connecting to the divine feminine. Absolutely. Yes. Um, I really, in my visions, have seen coming back and remembering and being rebirthed through the heart womb of all of creation, right? This has been a beautiful rebirth and an exalted expression. That's what this year has been. And it's such a potent time. It's such a powerful time. And yes, there's been a lot of darkness, but there's been that much light too. So much light, so much more light. And that was a huge download that I received is that in those darkest moments where everything was like, oh, control, and you can just feel it, and you can see it when things were feeling really, really dense. The reason why things have been purposed is because we have been awakening and remembering more than ever before, exponentially, infinitely, expansively awakening and remembering our power, our true divine nature, our cosmic infinite nature, our holiness. We've been reclaiming it and resurrecting it like that phoenix energy I've been talking about, like this dragon energy that has really been coming up so potently like for me, right? We've all been, and there's been this mass remembrance and awakening and they're like oh if everyone starts remembering how powerful we really are which we are it's already happening it already is right but like in their mind and they're like how can we control them how can we um you know they're gonna break the chains the freedom is in the remembrance the liberation is in the remembrance and the remembrance is it's remembering your power. It's remembering your infinite potential. It is remembering that it doesn't even matter what's going on outside with the government in your state, in the country. It doesn't even matter because it's all a simulation and it's all a big game. And the moment we can take responsibility, personal responsibility for ourselves and remember how powerful we really are and how vibrant and radiant and luminous and how we can heal ourselves and heal one another and uplift ourselves and celebrate one another and remembering the infinite intelligence of who we are as divine, holy, sacred, cosmic beings. That is our liberation. We are eternal. We're already free. We're already free. It's in remembering that we're already free. So no matter what narrative or what paradigm or what bullshit is on the news or being pushed, we could just step beyond it and outside of it and say, mm-mm, that doesn't feel good to me. That doesn't feel good to my heart. That doesn't feel good to my soul and in alignment to me. So that is not my truth. And check out. Right? And expand beyond it. It is in remembering our sacredness, our holiness, our power, our light. Remembering our light is how we can infinitely align with our greatness, our greatness. And no one can, nothing, nothing, no matter what, no person's circumstance outside of ourselves, because that was the Pisces, age of Pisces stuff, right? Like everything was outside of ourselves, separate. And there's been so many paradigms trying to separate us from one another 
It's all a big game. And the moment that we remember that we are the human race and we come back to that and we resurrect that and there is this reconcilia reconciliation and there is this come back to unity with one another but also still being really authentic and unique in our own way and sharing our own gifts it's like being the unique individual within the community that is this new frequency of this new earth because your unique light your unique gifts your unique message only you can share your gifts in the way that you are here to share your gifts. Only you, it's, it's we each have very unique potent medicine to share. And it's important to remember that. It's important to come back home to that. So I feel like, <laughs> Oh, sway. Oh, how how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing today? You guys feeling this energy? You feeling this this shift cuz I'm feeling my lioness coming out. And I'm liking it. <laughs> I like when my little when my higher self is just like, "Woo!" You know, this like fire, this fire. Um, yeah, it's really powerful and it's potent and we are so powerful. We are infinitely powerful. And that's the reason why they were like, oh, we got to like come up with all these different little weird plans. <laughs> we got to like try to trick them up and distract them and all these weird little things, you know, in order to, but it's like, no, nah, we're smarter than that. No, thank you. Not my timeline. No, thank you. Not my truth. <laughs> Affirmations now at this time. Whew. So powerful. Affirm it. Affirm it. Affirm your infinite intelligence. Affirm your health your well-being, your infinite, right? Affirm your, your heart and your love and how radiant and beautiful and magic and powerful you are. Affirm it. Keep on affirming it to yourself. Mirror work. I've been saying this in my readings. The big, such a great, powerful gift we can give to ourselves a gift of kindness and compassion to look into a mirror and express the love that you have for yourself and your soul and to give yourself that gift of inspiration. Really powerful right now. So what came through too with the zero points, the zero is not only this womb, and it is this quantum space, this portal, this heart womb of rebirth. Zero point is like a mirror, right? And we can give ourselves this gift to nourish ourselves. This gift of nourishment, this gift of love and compassion and kindness is to affirm to yourself how powerful, how strong, how resilient how infinite, how intelligent, how loving, how compassionate, how healthy, how whole and harmonized you are. Affirm it until you start really owning it. Until you really feel it and you anchor in that truth. So, whew, yeah, powerful, powerful portal that we have entered, an ascension portal. This is a stargate for all of us to connect with one another, to support and uplift one another, to be the frequency of inspiration. And what is inspiration? It is light. It is intelligence, it is brilliance, it is luminosity, it is wisdom, it is knowledge. 
remembering your knowledge, remembering your wisdom that is encoded within you, in your heart, in your womb, your intuition. Remembering this, it's already there, it's already there. An awakening is really just a remembrance. It is a coming back home, a homecoming. It is a coming back home to the heart of who you really are. Your ever expanding infinite nature, your holy nature, your angelic nature, your cosmic nature. It's coming back home to the heart of who you really are, who we really are. And it's within every single one of us. There's not just one chosen, right? Like guru up on the mountain that we're all supposed to, you know, like hail and, and, and worship. I mean, it's, it's, it's looking up to certain energy. Jesus, for example, let's talk about Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm a fan. Like, ah, oh, the, 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 the energy of Christ and Christ consciousness. But I really feel that Jesus, his true teachings were to teach us all of our infinite capability, our infinite potential, our divine nature. He was a great, he was a great awakener and a great liberator and his legacy can remind us this and does remind us this and during this time too this mass celebration of christ consciousness but for me and my heart and my truth and my reality the missing part of this equation has also been the coming back home and sacred union of divine feminine Christ consciousness. So Mary Magdalene and all of the wealth and wisdom that she taught, honoring her legacy as an equal leader, as an equal part of this equation. And that's what feels really good and true and real for me. Um, and that was a just yeah vision and it's it's just it's the truth it's it's my truth moving into this time really remembering this but i also see it i see it um being a mass resurrection and a mass remembrance this is the reconciliation of that other missing part the missing piece of god this is how we bridge heaven and, on, and earth and how we co-create heaven on earth because that's what the mission really is about it's remembering our divine nature so we can all anchor in and be the frequency of inspiration, the living embodiment of our Christed light, of our luminous radiant light, and how then we can co-create and we can nourish heaven on earth for ourselves and for one another. Oh. Annie, Melody, <laughs> thank you, Patty, amen, aho, and so it is. So as I uh, wrap up this holy tr transmission, this holy prayer, this is my prayer. As we come together, and this is my prayer, I am sending infinite blessings from my heart to yours. May you always remember how beautiful, how strong, how intelligent, how creatively brilliant, how loving, compassionate you are. May you always remember your peace, the power, the beauty, the magic of your heart, anchoring in the frequency of your heart. May you always remember the power of who you are, your true divine nature, 
your infinite expression. May you remember your gifts, reclaiming your gifts, reclaiming your light, reclaiming your expression, shining your light in your most expansive, luminous, brilliant, radiant way. Liberating yourself to remember your joy, your peace, your happiness, your pleasure, your truth, anchoring in your truth as you remember your divine, holy nature during this holy time, because it is a holy time of peace, of prosperity, of sacred union, of the divine feminine, divine masculine coming in with one another in true harmony, true resonance, true support, unconditionally loving support, so that we can anchor in these frequencies of heaven on earth, honoring the kingdom of God within us, within all beings, honoring all life, honoring the sacred soul of all life infinitely, all life on earth, all life beyond it, honoring all life, all souls as sacred, as holy, as important so blessings on blessings on blessings to you to your loved ones to your family to this powerful brilliant courageous strong community of love of light leaders, of healers, teachers, of artists, of dreamers, believers, visionaries, just sending infinite love to our loving community, really here to usher in, to co-create this new golden age on earth. It's in remembering it's in remembering why we came here. And it's in, sh it's in showing up in our biggest, boldest, brightest way. So I wish you so much love from my heart. I wish you infinite love, prayers for remembrance, for expansion, feeling really held, holy, supported, guided by your higher self by your divine team. I love you so, I love you so, I love you so. Infinite blessings to you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Happy solstice. Amen, and so it is. <laughs> I love you. Mm -hmm.